I'm Kelly Wu, and welcome to the 2021 Virtual Gold Achievement Gala. I'm so excited to be here with Patrice Tanaka, founder and chief joy officer of Joyful Planet LLC, and one of our 2021 gala honorees. Welcome, Patrice. Thank so you. So good to see you. Yes, I'm excited to be here. Thank you, Kelly. So how long have you been at Girl Scout for? Since brownies at age five, and I went all the way through senior Girl Scouts in Hawaii, and after I moved to New York in my early 20s, uh, I eventually got reconnected with the Girl Scouts. In fact, I was honored at a Women of Distinction breakfast and then shortly after invited to join uh, the board. And that was 25 years ago. Yeah. So what are some of the skills that you think you have today that you got through Girl Scouts? So I learned about working in close collaboration with others and completing projects, right? And, and having the success of having completed something and receiving recognition for a job well done. Girl Scouts also taught me that, you know, uh, perseverance is really key to success because I think that a lot of people, a lot of young people maybe give up too soon uh, because it's frustrating or success doesn't come quickly enough. But mm -hmm. I feel that, you know, if you have a goal, if you persevere and until you achieve your goal, you can often be successful. You know, I definitely feel like I've gotten that strong worth ethic and just persevering through problems and stuff like that, definitely through Girl Scouts. The Joyful Plan at your company has been recognized as the number one most creative among all PR agencies in the United States, among so many other awards and accolades, which first off, congratulations, which is huge. Thanks. Um, but so along with some of the skills that you talked about with being a Girl Scout, uh, what do you feel are some of the top skills that you have that makes you so successful? I guess I'm, I'm just curious about everything and I'm always learning. I love it when I learn something that I didn't know before. I'm also a very active listener because I know that if I shut up, then chances are great that I will learn something from the other person because, <laughs> you know, I don't know what they're going to say. I know mm -hmm. what I'm going to say. So if I just stop and listen, that's probably the best thing. I would say my greatest strength is creative problem solving. <laughs> I really have confidence, I don't know where this came from, that I can pretty much uh, solve any problem that faces me. You know, I'm a Girl Scout. Where there's a will, there's a way. Right? Yeah. How do you think Joyful Planet and Girl Scouts of Greater New York's missions intertwine? Because I know you talked about how Girl Scouts has played a huge role in your life. Yeah, and I think I've been so informed by my Girl Scouting experience um, because we're all about... Um, building girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. And I've always loved that phrase, make the world a better place, right? And Joyful Planet, my consultancy, is really about helping to create a more joyful planet mm -hmm. by helping people live their life purpose and leverage their talents, their expertise, and their passion in service of other people and our planet. And if we are all doing that, or if more of our 7.7 .7 billion people are doing that, that is how together we can create a more joyful planet. Yeah, like that whole phrase, just make the world a better place and be assistant to every Girl Scout, I feel like is really shown here. It's like you just, not even just, you don't even have to be a Girl Scout to be a sister to every Girl Scout, just right. being a sister to everyone in the world. It's, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> We're all connected, right? <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, so I guess just moving on to... How do you feel like your race has played a role in the things that you do and some of your values or just your life as a whole? But I grew up in Hawaii where Asians were in a majority. So frankly, I didn't really think about my ethnicity. Of course, I've seen that um, Asian Americans living on the mainland had a much different experience growing up. Culturally and historically, Asian Americans have just taking it on the chin, not complained, even in the face of discrimination and hate, and just soldiered on, right? And so because we've remained silent and therefore invisible, because of this, the discrimination and hate and violence against us is also somewhat invisible. So I just feel that 
we can no longer as Asian Americans just, um, you know, uh, remain silent. We must speak up and we must be more visible. We cannot be invisible if we, you know, hope to, to make anti-Asian hate more visible. For me personally, too, like I've always grown up being told like, oh, like if you just if you don't engage and just keep quiet, like it'll just pass and stuff like that. Right. Yes. Yeah. Hate and discrimination towards AAPI communities are nothing new. But since March 2020, there have been huge um, increases in reported hate crimes. And the watershed moment for a community was the recent shooting in Atlanta, which took the lives of eight people, six of them being Asian American women. So Patrice, you've continued as you've shown today to be a champion for the AAPI community during this challenging time and at the forefront of raising awareness and education about anti-AAPI hate and violence. I'm very happy that the Girl Scouts have convened different community conversations to talk about anti-Asian hate and violence. And I'm so glad that you and other of the AAPI Girl Scouts um, were so vocal in that conversation. That's what we need, more girls of courage, confidence, and character (laughs) speaking up and out against anti-Asian hate and violence. How has being a Girl Scout helped you during this time? My Girl Scouts is a it's a buddhist girl scout so everyone there is asian (laughs) yeah so it's been interesting because i know we've we've definitely bonded together and it's really nice to just have this community just full of asian americans um and we meet every friday and we just talk and we just do our events like we normally would and just being there with them and just being able to also still celebrate my culture with them is just definitely helped me get through everything um and I guess through Girl Scouts I've also learned a lot just about like you mentioned before about persevering and staying strong and speaking out so tell me about your gold award project because I really love you know that you took this issue on this is our history now so we have to preserve it as best as we can and just raise awareness about all the experiences that people are going through through COVID um like not even just physical like how people have been affected physically, but also mentally as well. I got people's experiences and stories of how they've been coping during COVID-19, how they've been affected mentally. And with the help of a lot of my friends, I turned these into works of art, um, like literature, just poetry, um, audio recording, stuff like that. And then I compiled them all and uh, coded a website um, from scratch through HTML and CSS. that just sort of raise awareness about all these experiences while also telling people how to stay safe and how to take care of others. So I just have one final question Mm -hmm. to you. What is your favorite thing about Girl Scouting? Oh, it honestly really is everything. Like I mentioned before, like my Girl Scouts is a Buddhist Girl Scouts. And I'm just very thankful that Girl Scouts, um, like just of the United States of America, lets my Girl Scouts like embrace um, Buddhism and like through our meetings and stuff like that, we celebrate Lunar New Year every year. And it's just incredible to be able to do that within like an AAPI community while also being able to do Girl Scout activities as well. So like leadership institutes, uh, STEM academies, um, just doing my volunteering with like my bronze, silver and gold awards. Um, it's just, it has so many opportunities to grow as a person and as a leader like if I wasn't in Girl Scouts I wouldn't have all of these amazing and incredible opportunities and I'm just very thankful for it. That was my experience too. (laughs) Thank you so much Kelly this has been so enjoyable. Thank you so much for having me and thank you so much for letting me interview you. This is an eye-opening conversation. 